what's going on everybody your boy big lock and this is uh, a video for my man bryson especially of the refl he asked me on how to make a stadium cheaply so we're gonna give him some ideas and this is especially for you my man bryson and all the guys interested in stadium that's the old miggle stadium one of the real cost effective solutions if you can find it and sometimes you can catch them on eBay or guys in the hobby may sell them. And that's what we really made to use to make our stadium. I gave one to Jamie. And then you have the option of going with guys like Wedge and Rutledge that are higher priced. But you get the exact stadium that you want. You know, they do great work and you can look those guys up. But I'm going to try to give you some clues on how you do your own stadiums. And you basically have to become a builder. You have to become an engineer. But not in a complicated way. Like that's a, you know, that's a mock-up of a blueprint rear where you can take a piece of the cardboard that you get right from the dollar store and prefab little areas and make the stadium sections that you want in the scale that you want. It's not really that hard. You just really have to do the mathematics to it. And you can find the cardboard right at the Hobby Lobby, right at the Dollar Tree in the dollar store. And it only costs a dollar. Maybe you spend 20 bucks and get a couple of them or as many as you need. And that's a more intricate plan. But a lot of these stadiums and the ones I'm going to show you here were made out of cardboard. People that just took the time and effort and, you know, they're expert builders. And I wanted you guys to check a video up of my man, Charles Van Der Broek, on how to build a stadium. And I'm really trying to get in conversation with him. Again, we had a great conversation this evening on building stadiums. He does some amazing stuff completely out of two millimeter, three millimeter cardboard. And um, fourth and one, man, we come and doing our thing. And I wanted to give you some work by my man, Fat A brother, Brian Cross, who who passed the uh, Navy team. And he's another expert with the with the cardboard, with the fiber board, that you can go right to, you know, your local Hobby Lobby and get. And that's what he did right there, that great stadium there with the additional lights and the press box. And he's done some great, great things. So I wanted to show you younger guys and the guys that want to make stadiums, there is a do-it-yourself way. But you do have to do a little study on the, what you're going to create. You know, Brian knows what he's doing when he makes the angles and when he bends and when he brings different aspects of how to make a real stadium. That's his Miami Viking Stadium right there. So Brian really knows what he's doing. Guys like Charles and guys like Jamie and guys like myself. I got some pics of my old stadium that I had up here just to keep you guys inspired. It's not that hard. And you can do things, you know, with stuff around the house and just really put it together along with the, the cardboard, some tape, some elements glue. And, and be careful, you know, we don't want you kids using knives and razor cutters and, and box cutters and things like that so ask your parents permission see that's how brian used actual pics that he got off the photocopy and made his crowd so it can be very easy and very very cost effective and that's what i have the pieces of my stadium that i'm going to complete for the fat eight pro and this is when i made my first attempt at the stadium and i made it out of a, a refrigerator box a styrofoam in a refrigerator box combined with some of the white um cardboard that brian has advised me to use so it's not that hard when you put your imagination to it and really put it in these are old pics but i'm just trying to really let you guys know you know the young guys that you can do this you know you can really have the stadiums in the effect that you want so bryson stay motivated you know you know let me know if you need some tips jamie's here to help i'm quite sure i can get some some things from brian to help you out and make a little stadium for your new i know you're excited about your new season coming up for the rfl you know we're real proud of you and my man fox 12 i'm checking you out you're wait up wait up fox your your training is great but you know if you wait them up a little bit they'd be much much better for my man fox 12 quick trip al rick l a e f l keep doing your thing looking forward to another video man i just saw your must see you know big shout to the guys in the nafl um, big shout out to the whole hobby, man. You know, so I'm just trying to let you guys know that we can do some amazing things when we expand our mind and take the hobby in different directions. We have to be more free and accepting new things like Fat A and Cho Pro and you know, big shout out to my man Two Feet Customs and, and Larry Walker that's been putting it out there for years, you know. But you can do this, you can do this. And I got some some imagery, man, because I wanted to give a big shout out to uh one of my teeth. That's another plan that you can copy too. You can take some pictures of this stuff and screenshot it, Bryce. You got some pics, but I wanted to give a shout to my man, Reg, you know, and just uh, football figures that net. And what I'm doing now, I really appreciate the figures. And I want to give Reg a big shout out for just taking time to teach me and show me. And sometimes, you know, you got to tell people that you respect them while they hear so many guys like Don Smith and Mike Pratt. And I'm not having nostalgia blogs or nothing, but you know, with the path, I'm going down now with, you know, really doing my own figures and things coming together for, my, you know, myself. You know, I'm just so proud that these guys took me under the wing and showed me a little bit. But look for my guy, man. Look for my guy, man. The prodigy, man. Look for Big Johnny M. 
you know, coming together with the training equipment. That's a 6.3 gram weight sled right there that you got to push back to the back. And the call out Indians is coming up because my man got me the decals for the call out Indians. So I'm so I'm so happy, man. And Jay, we're going to be sending you some stuff down. You know, fam, you're going to have his training shoe. So I like my boys to run their 40 in that training shoe. My man John helped me out and get my quarterbacks trained up so we can have some fourth and one. We can have some two feet. We can have some kickoff. We're going to have a lot of fat eight. I got to give a big shout out, man. Fourth and one has been so blessed. You know, we've been so blessed to come across a guy like John, the prodigy, man, with two feet custom, getting a little choked up. And, you know, that we got our, finally got our 3D printer. Yeah, that's our 3D print right there, man. That's the figures that I was telling you about and pumping for and busting for and really busting my hump to get out here, man. And we got them now. Thanks to Form 3D, my man, Brandon, who is the head designer of the 4th and 1 3D team. And we got some guys that's helping us too. You know, Brooklyn 3D, Blue Ring still is in, in our camp. And we doing our thing. And that's the Blacks of the original figure. But we got it mocked up now. You know, I'll be receiving one this week. And then we just going to make the whole line right out of um right out of Form 3D. And we're going to let y'all see the whole process. You know, I'm not going to be stingy with anything. I'm going to let y'all see. It's going to be reasonably priced. And it's, you know, it's one of the best 3D scans on the figure ever done because of the smoothness. No lines, no chinks. We got the perfect program. And that's the group, man. Two feet, fourth and one, the fat eight and kickoff. That's us. And we coming with these 3D stadiums, too. We're going to hit you in the head with a lot of stuff. So, like I said, hang with me. You will receive.